Good evening everybody and welcome back to Gold Hunter. Now I've been super excited for this experimental version of the game to come out. So this is the new update. Um well it's the new beta for Gold Hunter the game. Gold Hunter multiplayer, I think we should call it. Um but what this is is um the the game previously a few months. Let me let me tell you a bit of a backstory. So the game um about half a year ago maybe a bit longer the dev jeff decided that the game needed to be updated to unreal 5 in order to continue with development which is fair enough okay so um he's been working on that he's been doing tirelessly on that i got fa fair play on the guy he's been working flat out to get the game sorted out like you've been he's been giving you streams and everything showing you as he's progressing and developing for the game and on Friday, he released the Unreal 5 version of the game. Now, I've had a quick look at it. We're going to talk about it. Or I'll show you it and everything like that. And we'll see how we get on. With it. But this is the Unreal 5 version. It is the experimental mode. You do have access to it if you own the game. Just go into betas. And it is under the betas. Right click on the game properties and all of that. But, Hi, Mike. How are you, Mike? Um, but yes, so but in order to play the game, you have to disable cloud saves and also ensure that you have deleted all of your pre previous save files. Otherwise, you spawn under the map when you load in. Hey, hopefully it does work. Now, bear with. It's a lot of effort to play this beta. I won't lie. Okay, but once you get in, which we're going to do right now, we're going to start a new game. Uh, we're just going to, um, I don't know, uh, sheep, sheep one, we'll call it. Now, this is what will happen when you jump in the game. Now, bear in mind, it is a whole new game now. So from the previous update to this experimental version of the game, it is a whole new game. I think it's the easiest way to do it. It's a new map. It's new items. It's everything is new. Okay, so it is a brand new game. So you almost have to understand that now all the progress he made with the previous version of the game prior to the Unreal 5 update is now gone. So all of his previous work is gone and he's starting all over again. So, so apologies, but let's have a look. Oh, I got a woman this time. Now I didn't. I never got a woman last time. I was. A, I had a bloke last time, but I got a woman this time. Uh, we currently have no ability to like customize your characters or anything, but hopefully that will come a bit later on. So, in this, as you can see here, this straight away you can tell instantly is a whole new map. Okay, everything is brand new here. Okay, the shop is totally different. Everything is totally different, but. I want to show you this. Let's come over here and have a look at it. So let's down here before we go into the shop and have a shop. So this is what you can see at the minute. This is everything. Now, when I was looking at it, I was like, "Yeah, okay, it does look pr quite pretty." Okay, but there were a couple of things that were bugging me about it. Hopefully, you go get figured out. But look at the shadows. So the shadows are moving to represent the trees moving. But there's no moving in the trees. So hopefully, just cosmetic, I know. But if we're going to sit here and talk about Unreal 5, which is like cutting edge graphics, cutting edge visuals of gaming, then these are the things that we're looking for to make this change worthy, okay? So, as you can see here, like, hopefully, don't forget, this is alpha. This is only being out a couple of days, so it probably will change. Like, what's really good, though, is if you look down there, you can see my shadow, and my shadow works really, really nicely. My shadow in the distance there, let's just make sure that, yeah, the sun's in the right place. So, that is really, really good and really smart, and I like that. But, yeah, the, the shadows for the trees and stuff just seems a bit clunky. Um, it's not very smooth moving and of course it's representing that the trees are moving but 
there is literally no movement in the tree spot. So hopefully that will get, I'm sure that will get figured out towards a bit in the end. Um, now, we currently have no map. Um, <laughs> the only map we got is the little mini map you can see up on the top right hand side there, which is really difficult. Um, because obviously once you've got all the bits and bobs you want to get to the claim, you've got to try and figure out where the claim is. Apparently there's signs. And I have seen some signs down there when I was exploring. Just down the bottom of the hill there, there are some signs to help you find claim. But it was literally one, one sign. And that was it. And then it doesn't show up again on any other sign. So then it's like, okay, so I keep going this way. I, it doesn't make sense. Um, but I believe that giant box we see there is a claim. So we'll go and find out about that. But there is a, another way of doing it, getting to claims, but we're going to do a bit of science to see if we can carry some kit over. Um, but anyway, so um, a couple of new things then. So this is the vehicle store down the bottom of the hill here that you can see the blue cars and the buggies. Uh, that store over there is like a clothing store, which is pretty cool. So you'll be able to update and change your clothing. Uh, up there, I believe that's the gold store. That's where you go to sell all your gold. And over a bridge somewhere, over there somewhere, there's like a scrapyard and things like that. I'm not sure what they're used for yet. And then this is the main store. So in comparison to like the previous version, everything was quite close together. It was quite easy to navigate between the lot. Now it's just become a lot more difficult. It's not a town. It's... A load of buildings chucked into random places around the thing. It would have been a lot kinder to the player if everything was like a town. If it had a town. You no, know, like in Gold Rush, you go into the town and everything is within that town. Just to save people. Because if this, look at this, right? So this is the main store. You can see the road. The road goes round, 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 down, down, down. Uh, just to get to the vehicle store. And then you've got to go round, 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 round to get to the clothes store. Then you've got to go back up and all the way around to get to the gold store. And then the fuel station is over there somewhere. So then you've got to go. It's just a bit all over the place. Like, I, I don't know. Maybe you guys like it. Do let me know what you think about it. But of course, this is my opinion. I will give my honest opinion about it, about how I feel for the game and everything like that. We will go and have a look in the stuff. If we get around to any golden mining today i'm hoping so but it all comes down to whether i can find a bloody claim um but but yeah so it just feels a bit clunky it would have been nice if like the shop and all of that was just yeah a town make a little bloody town and then everything is simple easy to navigate and yeah rather than having to drive about 500 miles just to get to one different place now they do have the quick travel the player reset where you can go to the main store all the three different um claims that are currently available to you to, to mine on but whether we can carry kit with us when we're doing that i don't know we're going to go find that out now because of course we have only got ten thousand pounds of us now these I'm not sure what these are going to be I'm wondering if these are going to be like, I don't know, food, water, maybe, food, water, health, I don't know, sun, heaping, I don't know, you'll be able to change all your clothes. Oh. Oh. Didn't mean to get naked. Oh well, I've just got naked, apologies, I did not mean to do that. <laughs> Right, anyway, so let's uh, pop into the store and take a look at what we have got. So these boxes mean that something's going to come here. I don't know what's going to come. Hopefully it's going to be something. Right. So the store, let's have a look. So obviously we have got the go table there. Yeah, so everything pretty much from the first thing so let's uh get everything we're going to need and let's see so we're going to need a high banker i'm going to want one 
and to take free of a room for my cafe. Okay, so we're going to need a room of that a decent shovel. That put the shovel in. So keep going through. So there's some items here that ha haven't been introduced yet, which will be. So as you can see here, we've got a helmet, a headlight, which will be coming at some point. A flashlight, so we can get light. Hammers. Mini shovels. Look at that one, just in case. Look at that one, just in case. I don't know if we need one. Okay, so. Okay, bottles. Three bottles. We don't technically need bottles. Tell me if we're going to be doing that. So leave that. Okay, we're going to need. Back of miners mass. This one in the middle. Let's go for that. We only need three of them for the for what we're doing. That in. Let's keep running through, seeing what we've got. Right, we've got our miners moss, three of them. We need a wash basin. Okay, we're just whizzing around and just getting what we need. We're going to need the basic scales. They're both the same size. Uh, that's the same price. Let's just grab this one. Oh, okay. Yeah, you can chuck it out. Okay, here's the, the mini furnace. We're going to need a mini furnace. Are you going to go in there? Go on, in you go. Yeah, that's got in there. So there's our mini furnace, and then we need a cup set. We've got cups of eight. We don't need eight. We just need a couple. Just to get us going. Probably just need one, actually. Come on. There we go. Let's put that in there. Just one of them. And we also need... Mold. Like, don't don't worry if don't worry about following this or keeping up with this or anything like that. I'll I will do a video showing you everything that you pretty much need in order to get up and running. And then it's a bucket. Get some buckets too. On. One, the two bucket should be all we need. Okay, right. I think that's pretty much everything we need to get going. So let's see what this all comes to. So one thousand seven hundred and twenty-six. Take that. Then, huh. Oh, is it all under the same thing? I take this out now then. Hey, 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 yes, I brought everything. Amazing. That's brilliant. Okay. So we have got everything we need for 1,700, 2,000 pounds, which isn't too shabby. So we could have brought some better things. Like we still got enough money. We haven't got enough money for that though. Oh, we need... Um... Oh, no, we don't, because we're doing nothing. Open. Actually, yeah, where's, where's the... Open. Okay, so we haven't got a go pan at the minute. Interesting. How we meant to do the gold, but we'll we'll figure something out. Now let's uh add to shovel to 
Là, il y a un... Right. Now, got C, F, how this works, now again. So now, if I carry this, can I teleport with this? So, backspace, let's go to Redwood Falls. Ah, perfect. Okay. So, that is good. Okay. So, when, oh, I, I think I just went a bit crazy and went a bit nuts. We'll just give it a second to catch up. There it goes. Okay. So, that is handy. So, to start with, you can teleport with items. Perfect. Sold. Job's a winner. And this is the first place. So, we are now at Redwood Falls Creek. No idea where this is on the map. Um, but the good thing is you can teleport with us. So now we're going to have to teleport back because there is no other way of doing it. Apologies for this. But there you go. Teleport back. Redwood Falls Creek. And here we are. Okay, so we got that. Pack it. Pick it up. Where should we put it? Where should we put it? Oh, I'm, I'm just going to stay close. May as well. Freeze it in position. Go. Okay. Back up to all right. Let's lie everything out so it's all nice and neat. We can get everything. There's my miners' moss, so we'll drop them there. Hey, happy Easter to you as well, Kevin. How are you, my friend? So, we pretty much got everything we need. One thing I'll be interested in is how on earth are we meant to uh, can we still flip these upside down? Yes, we can. Awesome. Uh, go there. Next up, so that. See, this is something I always do when I play this game. I always set things out nicely so that and set it already. There you go. And now I don't lose things. Perfect. There we go. That's the simple table. Now. Where's my, my shovel? <laughs> I don't know about the water thing. This is something I'm now confused by. Doesn't look like there is any water. There's moss. Unroll it. That's my moss. Let's go. Roll it. Yeah. That's it. Two. Roll it. Yeah. There's number three. That's all my miners moss. How's the rugby going? Really good, actually. Thank you, Kevin, for I've got my first game next Saturday. 
Right, now I did have a shovel. I thought I put my shovel in my... I did. Ah, there we go. Okay, so now if I press one... Um, come on in, dig! Ah, oh, nice. How the bloody hell do I dig? <laughs> Let's do it. We've got to move out. There we go. We figured it. We got it. Okay, there we go. You, to switch it on, you have to click on this little thing here that the water is automatic. So let's just see how we get on with this now. So while we're doing this, like, this bit hasn't seen, seems to be pretty similar to what it was. Like what it was previously. Obviously they still got a lot of work to do. The shovel not moving. Needs to be fixed and altered. But hey ho. The sounds but of course there's no water. So obviously there's going to be no sound from the machine yet. Which... Kind of sucks. This is definitely a game where you need something going on in the background in order just to keep you entertained for a bit. You're just gonna be listening to the sound of shovel noises very long time. I didn't do any science, so I don't know how many shovelfuls it's gonna cost me to get the ten percent. It sucks. Hang on. I want to do that actually. Hang on. Hang on. I want to do this. It's early access, but it's an early access game that is now being. Pick up water basin. I'm going to do the science straight off. Stop it. Seize it. Catch it. Okay, so you just detach it, transfer it, and then pull it back. It goes back down to zero, okay? So detach it, transfer it, detach it. Okay, so now we're back to zero. Let's see how many shovels it takes us to get the 10%. One, two, three, four,
Verstehen. So I've gone quiet, I'm keeping can. Twenty. So it looks like it's going to be about forty shovels. No, okay, so let's keep going. Let's see how many we got. Sixty-three. You got the ten percent. That means it's going to take us six hundred and thirty shovelfuls to get to a hundred and hundred percent. So it's going to be a big grind, but that's why we play these sort of games. And of course, when we get the bigger machines, hopefully it'll be better. Now, what I'm going to do is we're just going to spend a bit of time. Let's get these up to a hundred, and let's see what sort of intake we're taking from this game. Obviously, if there were two of us, it would be. A lot easier Mike will be coming to join us but unfortunately they haven't got uh, inverted inverted mouse yet which is how Mike likes to play so I but as soon as that is sorted out Mike will come to join us and we'll probably do some competitions and play some games and and see what we get we, I am thinking about doing a bit of a competition in this game um like a battle of the a battle of the groups but we might have to wait a little bit for that um because i believe everybody starts with 10 grand and we could do solo or, or doubles and see who ends up with the most it's going to be awesome it's going to be awesome yeah so the game is resulted back to it's we it's gone backwards but gone forwards if that meant it's gone forward in the sense that it's now an unreal 5 engine and it's a brand new game but backwards in the sense that all the bugs and all the problems that he had fixed on the previous versions are probably now existing again either that or they're going to be whole new bugs have taken place but either way like certain things are, are working now. Like it, it's moving smoothly now. Like, so for instance, the previous problem where it was like the science behind how you put the mud, the pay dirt into the machine gave you more yield in gold. That doesn't count anymore. It is now all luck of the, the dirt, which is fantastic, which kind of just makes it proper rather than having to like just stick with a shovel in order to make gold that's not how it goes the bigger the machine the quicker the more money you're going to get it's as simple as that so that is good and i'm glad that they've introduced that and got that up and running which is fantastic and then obviously it's unreal 5 so the graphics everything are a lot better 
um, everything like that. We've obviously got the closed door. We've got different sexes where you will be able to change your character, but it hasn't been introduced yet. Uh, we're still missing a lot of the starter equipment. I also took a, a trip down to the vehicle store, and there are a lot more vehicles available down there now, which is grand. And a lot more things come in. We've actually got rivers and creeks because I know that at one point later in the game they're going to be introducing white water gold hunting, which I'm really looking forward to. For anyone that's watched the gold, the white water series, will know exactly what that entails, and that looks proper bloody epic. Uh, that also, he's also said about having adding ice. And also see mine gold mining in. So maybe at some point we will see those things in the map. But not yet. Um, but there's still a lot. A lot for this game to do. Like. But take it with a pinch of salt. The game is playable. In some respects. It is actually better than the previous. The previous. Unreal 5 because the pre Unreal 5 it was all about the shovel you just took a shovel and the tier 2 mobile wash plant like you, you could do everything and then it was easy to make money easy if you go anything above that you're not making any money so it's pointless but now it actually makes a difference. Awesome, right? Awesome. How are you, by the way, Joe? Everything all right, mate? And thank you, everybody, for coming to join us tonight. Of course, truly, truly appreciate it. We will be playing this game. How much? I'm not certain yet. Um, I think it still needs some teething problems fixed. But we'll play it. Maybe we'll stick at it for once a week at the minute. And then the second day of the week, we'll maybe look at one human again because the, the next beta uh, open beta test starts on the third. So next week, so maybe we'll look at that as well. And then we'll do one day a week on each just to give them all a, a good try. Because that one human is, 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 was so far one of my favorite games that I've played this year game is phenomenal really looking forward to that coming back to that game is going to be available on both pc and mobile and it's going to be free but but we'll see so we'll probably play that one day a week and and this one day a week but like once this is steady and sorted we will be doing this once this game pretty much full time will be uh, running maybe a league or something. I still play this game and I bought it for my son. I worked around all the bugs and once you learn the mechanics of the game, it's still a lot of fun. We did multiplayer. Yeah, no, it is a really good game. And that is the major selling point, the multiplayer aspect of it. But saying that, there have been hints and twit twitch or x uh twitter or x whatever you want to call it they have been talk and gold rush have been talking of adding of creating gold rush 2 which they have hinted could well be multiplayer And if that is the case, I don't know which way I would swing. Just because I know how shit they were with the full... Sorry, excuse my language. How rubbish they were with the first Gold Rush. They kind of left it abandoned a little bit. So, do I trust them enough to do it? I would probably have to try it just for the sake of saying I've tried it. But if they do bring out multiplayer for Gold Rush 2, and stay being hinting, like this isn't just me making up shit, my guys. This is 
what's been going on on the Twitters, on the social medias, what we've been talking about, what Gold Rush the game have been saying themselves. It's interesting to say the least. What about you guys? Would you guys trust them? Do you trust them there or have you lost all faith in the Gold Rush series? What do you think? Let me know in the comments if you're watching this back and But my my two cents though is this game if he does everything that he wants to do, then I think he could probably really just dominate. Absolutely dominate. Never played Gold Rush. See the games I make you play. And answer that I've never played it. No, 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 that's absolutely fine. Uh, well, Gold Rush, the update tomorrow, which is meant to be updating along with, but I've seen... Ah. About bloody time, eh? It's been a long time since they've done any form of update, which is kind of sad. But I suppose... It's It'd be interesting to see what comes of this update though. I didn't realise there was an update coming all over Gold Rush. Right? How quick can we go? <laughs> we can do it pretty quick. We could fill up pretty damn quick if we There we go, we're getting a nice size hole going on here. They have said no new seas. Ah. I'm glad they're doing it properly. And they're doing that, they've said no new save. Right. If they get the console version up to the same level as PC, that would be pretty damn good. That would be really nice if they managed to play. And they do that. It's just a case of if. Big if, isn't it? They need a way of slowing us down from putting too much dirt in that one too. Hmm. Like obviously all these boxes frames here won't be here. Um, hopefully they will disappear at some point, maybe with an update and uh, maybe something will come next week just to clean it up. But bear in mind ladies and gents, please, this is a brand, even though we've done a season and series of Gold Hunter, this is a whole new game. Okay, it is now Unreal 5. Everything, new map, it's everything is new. There is nothing familiar about this game. So please bear that in mind. When you're checking this out, because there's going to be a lot of issues. I do want to put my legs back. There we go. So I just drag them off and put them back on. Please don't. There we go. She's dressed again like that. Right? Taking a bit of a while though, isn't it? That's a big old thing. 
Like people are saying that they were managing to get two, three hundred thousand in two hours. They must be using high attack crit because I am nowhere near. How long have we been going? We've been digging for about 20 minutes maybe and we are at 36. Going to be a busy month we see getting up a PlayStation we are getting grounded and Sea of Thieves. Wow! Onso's finally starting to catch up. God, I remember the days where I'd be like, oh, I want to play this game so much. And especially when I was stuck on just playing on console. But of course, then it was like, ooh, I, I couldn't migrate to the PC, which is, which has been life-saving. The life-saving moment. Don't get me wrong, though, I still got my PlayStation 5, but... Like, it's actually, my, my my issue with my PlayStation 5 at the minute is not the PlayStation 5, it's HD60S. My HD60S, which allows me to capture onto my PC in order to stream, is buggered up. And it's actually a lot of tweaking and playing with buttons and everything like that to be able to stream. So it's absolutely nightmare. To do it so if i wanted to stream i would literally have to stream straight from from the ps5 straight from the ps5 which would then mean i would need to attach my mic to my ps5 so i can still use my mic oh, it's just a fact it really is a fact so I think I've learned to accept the fact that PS5 is is a bit is a bit too complicated for me to for me to stream on. It's a bit of both. I think it's a me problem more than anything. Like I I am struggling to get everything synced and working properly and it's a bit of a nightmare um like sounds it takes me ages to figure out different all the different sounds that need to come across and yeah it's it's, it's just really yeah. but it'll, it'll figure out and maybe I'll, i should revisit it Oh man, it is an empty. There we go. As long as it gets down to seventy, you can put a new one in. Yeah, get it down to seventy. Let it drop the seventy percent fill, and then you can put your next shovel in then. No issues at all. But in doubt, search YouTube. Oh, mate, even searching YouTube, mate, it, it's really complicated. They don't... It's not as simple as press this button, attach this to... Do this. And then jobs of winger. It is a case of... You have to change some settings in this. And then you have to change some settings in, in Streamlabs. And, and then it's like, well, every time then, if I stream on PC, I have to change all the settings back. And it's just like, Jesus Christ, I just need two profiles. But hey. Alright. Uh, let's 
get these up to I should go up to 50% of the long time. See, my problem is that we've been playing so such fast paced games like, before we've come back. To it. Like one human, fast paced. Everything that we played has been fast paced, and now all of a sudden we're back in the, the simulation world, and everything's a lot slower again. So it's just getting back into the habit of slowing down and. Don't get me wrong, I love playing them. They are interesting and fun, and I do love them. For some reason I seem to have been stuck on 36% for quite a while. Alright, what I'm going to do is... Okay, that's uh, right. Turn off your stupid train. Ah, oh, maybe it's good then. There you go. Turned off. Right, what I think I need to see. See progress. Progress has been saved, low progress, load that up. Because I think I've heard a rumor that if it gets stuck reloading, might fix it. I don't know how long it was stuck on 36%, but something didn't seem right there. It was stuck there for a while. load game load the bad bloody load if it doesn't load now I'll be pissed <laughs> but how is everybody I hope everybody's enjoying it please do remember to hit that like button or uh, hit the subscribe button if you want to see more of this um or anything else that we play tonight we are checking out gold hunter for the first time since the Unreal 5 update, which dropped on the Friday. So, there's a lot to be done. It is a whole new game. And as you can see here, the map is still a work in progress. And they will add more content and location update. Get out my... <laughs> I think my game's just busted. It crashed. There we go. I'm going to load it back up and. Uh... So, like, as much I think, as much as I would love to start playing this game now, I don't think it is worthy of being covered yet. It still needs a lot of work to make it stable but i'm going to try once more 2046 that's the load that's the save that i just done wait we're going to see if it loads you can see here like a load bar i stopped moving the guy is telling me that it's probably not going to work. But, oh. Hey, it worked. Awesome. Just stop here and now. Let everything load in. The game find itself. 
Oh, my hole is gone. Okay, that's fine. Let's see if now it will go. Yes, there we go. It's moving up now. We've lost our hole though, that sucks. I thought we had a pretty impressive hole going then as well. What we're gonna do, we're gonna get it up to 50%, I think. And then I'm gonna I'm gonna sack it off. And because we're spending a lot of time here. I wanna see how much gold we get with that. It's going to be interesting how we do the whole put it in the smelter business because so, so what we've noticed there now is if you notice that it took me a while to notice it but it got stuck at 36% you need to keep an eye on it I think if it does just save the game reload it like every about if it should go up at least one percent every five shovels so if you notice that it hasn't then you have issues God knows how long it was doing it for though. We must have been stuck on it for a while. But seeing how quick I got from 30 to 50. There you go, 50% there. Eh? So what we do. Turn it off. Let's see how much gold we got from this. Patch them. Transfer. Patch them. Patch them. Transfer. Patch them. them. Right. Now, I'm going to pick up the basin. And freeze the basin. Right, let's pick up the furnace. Go and blow it down. Alright, let's line you up. So I know freeze it. Okay, now how am I meant to I gotta figure out now how I got the gold into the cup. So, oh. hey, does this work? A slot, maybe. Hey, I've lost it. How the bloody hell we get that into a crucible?
So maybe we've got to transfer it to the bucket. Okay. Okay, we go and get that. I just lost my crucible thing. Okay, right. So let's go back to the store, main store, respawn. We got this. We will figure this out. Give it a minute to load in everything. Okay. Not a bucket. I've got a feeling. And look at this here. This looks like gas canisters. I wonder what they're for. I was thinking like I wonder if they're part of like a uh, I don't know a heat blow or something in case it's all uh, I wonder if this is where the bottles come in. And then, okay, okay, inventory, 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 there we go, melting cube, bottle, oh, I don't know. let's go back to tools, like it, load in, I'll take our time. Okay. Okay, let's go up here. Transfer from the bucket. Oh, now crucible, isn't it? Inventory. Crucible. Please. Oh no, I forgot. Oh, pick up bucket. Oh, hang on, look there. Yeah. Pick up. Somehow it just worked. Something didn't work. Something wasn't right there. <laughs> Open. Okay, we got it. Okay, it's nothing to do with the bottle, it's all in the bucket. So you put it in the bucket. Yeah, so you put it in the bucket. The bucket will then. I don't know if I got any more in this bucket. Did I have? Oh.
you go by pick up this. Pick up this. Pick up the bucket. Pick up, drop the bucket. Pick up that. Close that. That. Oh, no, 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 no. Move. Get up. And my problem is my scales have I need to go uh, get some scales again. Yeah. Still going. Striking out. How many bits of gold is this? Still going. Okay, let's go get some scales. I think I want to know how much I'm getting here. So I'm going to go buy some scales. Install, respawn. Give it a minute. I want to see how much each of these. Because obviously we're not using the wash pan. We're not doing any of that. We're, we don't do the most, probably the most important part of the sequence, which is really sad. Scales. Scales. Maybe. Thing would do. Only a couple of quid, not like we're short of money. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna have to come back to it. Once. Redwood Falls. Yeah, I like the wash pan as well. The wash pan is awesome. I feel kind of gutted that I went a bit early. I didn't give her a chance to. Okay. I see, wouldn't it? There you go, that's one point two ounces.
So all of these are 1.22 ounces by the looks of that. Uh, 0.01 Get out of my way That's another 0 0.6 Hey, is there to be more on? Uh, no, I one point two. Another one point. Okay. So not too shabby, but now what I need to do is drop them all in huh? No, okay, I'm not dropping them in there. Right, I can fuck sake. I wish you could put them why could you not put them in your pocket? Because now this means now I have got a literally walk with this in my fucking pocket. So, hang on, let's take it out, let's, we've lost fucking enough, okay, we're going to take this, which, what weight was this one? Oh, you're fucking kidding. Hey! <laughs> Sorry guys, I'm trying to bloody do this. You will do this. Okay, let's go sell that. Right, got that. We gotta go back to the main store. And we gotta go and sell this. Now this is the bit that's going to really a problem is an understatement. It's a bit of a mess. It needs cleaning out. You need to be able to put the gold in your pocket. Because now we can only travel with one bar at a time. I'm losing bars through the world like no fucking tomorrow. And now I've got to try and find the fucking pot. Oh. I think it's over here. Throw them over here, I think. <clears throat> like I don't understand the need to have these buildings so spread apart it makes absolutely no sense to me whatsoever This even the fucking gold store? Ah, oh, no. I mean, what is the point? 
what do we achieve by spreading everything out so far? It, it, it really baffles me. It really, really. I don't know, you guys are building down here. Coming up on our side, so I'm assuming. Yeah, yeah. Alright, Trumpet, how much are you going to give me for this? So for 1.22 ounces, he's going to give me 2,300 pound. Okay. <laughs> we could do that. <coughs> now, if I go in here, I'm back up to 10 grand. Perfect. So what I might do now, let's go, let's go have some fun. Let's do something else. I want to do this. To see if I can figure out where there's blood. So the first thing I'm going to do, let's go buy a buggy or some vehicle of some kind if we can afford it. To get us to the, to the claim so we can uh, bring all of that gold back to make some money then. But otherwise, just Okay, that's seven thousand. Okay. Six thousand. Now there's no stories on that. Ten thousand. Don't know why. Let's go for this one then. What the fuck? You cannot enter vehicle with active slot. Hey! I gotta try and remember. Do that. Oh, no, that wasn't it. Close the door. E? No. Um, hey, the page up. I 
doesn't do anything for me. Okay. I thought it would be as simple as getting Start the car and oh, okay, page out. Uh vehicles. By pressing and holding and then F to enter. Getting out is also by F. Start the engine with P. Yeah, came is this way, apparently. Yeah, still this way, okay. You have to claim over there. Okay. Not that bad. It's not that far. But when you have no idea where you're going, it is a long way away. Obviously, we've still got some terrain issues. Okay, sent me to somewhere random. <laughs> Let's go back to the plane. I can't still go, thank God for that. Okay, put all this gold in the boot. We'll take it back. Let's back up because this thing is doing my fucking speeding. Unfreeze it, go pick it up, put it back on there. Freeze it again, but um go uh, 
pack up. Okay. Do I have any more gold? Nope. Alright, that thing is for this. The only use is over on that. Leave out there. Okay. Uh, can I find these other gold? That is fucking useless. See? Be pissed. Okay, right. Open this out. Move that. Up. That in. Another one. I'll do the same again. And now, the Ah, we've got all going to go sell, so let's take all this to the gold shop and it's not coming out. Pepper. Boop, boop. Yeah, the audio is still a bit of a mess in the game as well, isn't it? Yeah, I got these sorting out. No, 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 no. You don't have me yet. Right, get out. That would have been a nightmare, that crack. Is well, it's not just me being a fruitcake, I promise you. Oh, well, I'm apparently in another claim here. Eh? Apparently this is going to be another claim looking on the map. Maybe this is a claim that's coming a bit later or something? That's a gold. Open. What the bloody hell? Oh, 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 hey, look at me. I've broken something. Oh, 
Oh. Huh. <laughs> Save. So, the moral of the story there is don't cheat. Don't try cheating the driving. Do it properly. <laughs> Or get the aliens to come and ask you. And they got some uses, which is great. Don't get out of the car. Fuck's huh? sake. Just don't get out of the car, everybody, and you'll be fine. So, ultimately, I think this game is still a... a needs a lot of work they really need to sort the game out it's going to be a little while i think if i'm gonna come back and do a series on this game i might wait until the game is to a standard that is sensible because at the minute it is not a sensible standard uh here's the clothing store that i was talking about so you'll be able to come here. Currently the sign on there says uh, clothes for renovation. But if you look in there, look, you can see that I've got loads of different clothes in there, which will be awesome. You can actually customize your character a little bit, which will be pretty cool. Between the two bridges. There we go. Right. Right. Let's get rid of this gold. One. How much we make for all of this then? Two, three more to put in. Closer this time. Oh, I wish there was an easy way of doing it. Uh, one. So this is from one fifty percent run. We've already claimed 2,000. How much more are we going to get? So we're getting around about 10,000 for 50%. That isn't too shabby. Six, six, seven, maybe about 8,000. So not too shabby. We've now back up to nine grand and we've got a car. So that car is going to save us a lot. It will make us a lot easier. Uh, will you give? I'll always give feedback. 
I think I've been given feedback all the way through this video, to be fair, about things that I think this thing, right and wrong with this game. Like, personally, I hate the map. I hate the map. I, I, I won't lie. My, the map I hate. Like, why they felt the need to separate all these buildings by 500 miles of roads, I will never understand. I don't get it. Have a town, simple, done, everything's central, everything's easy to navigate, rather than having to go here, there, here, there, here, there, through windy, bendy, horrible roads. It just doesn't make any logistical sense to me whatsoever. In any place you have a town, it's as simple as that. So why can't this place be a town? Um, obviously the shading and everything like that. The, the navigation system, the mapping system needs improving. Um, but otherwise, like so far, it, it's clean. It's nice. I like the map. I love like the claims spread out all over the place and things like that. But I, I think ultimately the, my biggest upset with this game is that it's this whole the whole shot placement situation. Like I don't understand why it had to be so complicated. Like you can see up there on the top right, so you can see how all the roads go everywhere. Nothing is. It's just illogical and pointless. Um, but that's me personally, I don't know if you, you guys think definitely having shops located all over the place make it work for you. But I don't know what what he's thinking or what he wanted to achieve with that. It doesn't, it, it, it grinds me, it's, I don't get it. Um, obviously it needs some animations for the, like, doing the shoveling. You need to add water places to actually do the water. Um, it's just a lot to do. I know it's all things that will get done. It's just a case of waiting, so I don't really need to give feedback. But I think my only biggest criticism and feedback right now would be the map. The placement. I, it doesn't make sense to me. Like, that's the only thing that I don't like. I dislike everything like that, but that's just me. But otherwise, like, it's a really good game. It is going to be good. Now, what we're going to do, I'm going to keep track of the game and just see how it's progressing. Maybe every update will come in and we'll have a look and we'll spend an evening having a look until, and we'll keep doing that until it's at a standard where I can say, okay, I can play this now. You can do a series of this now properly and get into it. We'll go with it. We'll see where we go. And hopefully, it will make positive steps to becoming an absolutely phenomenal game. But it, there's still a lot of work. Definitely still work and do into the game. Like, I'll go in here quickly and I'll show you some of the vehicles they've got, they've got lined up. And what From what I've seen, it's all vehicles that were in the previous, in the current non-beta mode, in the ex exploration mode. Uh, so you've got the front loader there. Got a mini digger. Coming next Friday. Look at that. There we go. Coming next Friday. And obviously we've got caravans. That. They've got trailers. Here we go. Here's the moving into the higher T equipment here. Front. There's the tier 3, tier 3 wash plant. There goes the rest of the wash plant. There's a feeder. So all these things are coming in. So there's loads and loads and loads and loads of stuff coming in. Yeah, exactly, isn't it? But the question is, yeah, it'll be next Friday, won't it? So, but like, there's loads of stuff still left to come in. Like, he's got trailers, which is different, which is new. Looks like gas, which means that they're going to be bringing in gas. And it looks like water, which 
represents they're going to be bringing in water which is fantastic and then they've got a van here as well which is going to be coming which is new as well which will be pretty cool but yeah so there's still loads to come and still loads to do with the game like it's going to get there it's just a case of slowing down on being a bit patient but what we'll do is we'll we'll keep an eye on it i'll keep updated and then i make sure that I, i'm checking out all the new updates then when i think it is ready and i can say okay we can do a series on this now what i'm probably going to do is start it off very simply with um maybe like a just me and mike just playing it like i'm used to it going through the equipment and then eventually i would love to do like a competition like with against another team so let's say two and two and then it's a competition two different claims who can make the most money or who can get the most gold in uh in one go uh, we'll, we'll see where we go from that but it's all things to think about but for now i think i'm going to call it a night here um but thank you so much everybody for coming to join me it's nice to see so many people coming and so many faces that we haven't really seen for a while so it's nice to see everybody thank you for coming to join us we'll be back now on on tuesday and uh, yes tuesday now what's the date on tuesday hang on i'm gonna quit out i guess a minute let me tuesday is going to be the second i'm not sure what we're going to play then but we'll play something different but ladies and gentlemen until tuesday take it easy thank you everybody for coming to join do remember to hit that like button and of course hit that subscribe button to stay tuned for more stuff i'll be back on tuesday so until then bye for now everybody